What's up, William Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are once again set up Adobe Edge Animate, but we are actually not going to be working in Animate right now. Okay, what we got here is that uh, this is working with the same uh, issue, uh, well, not the same issue, but the same project uh, of which we did before for uh, the Astro Chris Christie. And what it is is that she's got multiple animations playing on her page. And this is basically what we got here. We've got the one that goes down and then the one that points up. Whenever you click on the one that goes down, it doesn't do anything. When you click on the one that goes up, it changes them both. Okay, why is this happening? Simple. Over here in our stage, we have an ID. An ID is like your driver's license. It's like your social security number. Okay, you can only have one ID per person in that number sequence or that name or whatever. In this case, inside of your HTML document, an ID tag has to be a single ID tag. It has to have its own name. It cannot be the same as anybody else's. Now, if it was a class, then you can have multiple classes. You can have thousands of classes on a single page. But an ID, you can only have one. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to come over here and copy to let us know which one that we're doing, uh, our ups and our downs. We're going to save it, okay, and then we're going to come over here, we're going to load the page back up. Okay, two things has happened. One, our images are smaller. Second thing is that now we can click on each one of these, and they work like they're supposed to. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Click on that one, it changes. Click on that one, it changes, and they change individually they no longer work together like it was before so that is how you run multiple animations on your page the only thing you got to do is come down here to your id and change your id there's no way inside of edge animate that you can change the id that i have found so far so you have to change the id within the code itself okay wayne baron here with darkfix.net i hope that helps you out y'all have a good one bye bye